all right. Hey, you're in the kitchen with Tanya for dinner, and I have a little um, quick answer to a couple people's questions, and I'm disgusted because when you have 1,500 videos slash pictures on your phone, your phone wants to drop the video halfway through. I just made this salad and plated it up from scratch for y'all, and it dumped me off. There are rules in this world, friends, and when you don't play by them, you don't get what you want. So if you don't delete some things, this happens. So I'm going to conform because these problems keep arising in my life, and I'm going to just take a hint on that. So the first thing we're going to do before we even talk is we're going to make some, um, some food, and here's what we're going to do. First of all, this is a mango. This is how a mango should look. Watch, watch my fingers. See that? Like if I really wanted to, I could puncture the mango and I could like try to <laughs> suck the juice out of it. But instead, oh juicy, you're going to take it. See there's a fat side and there's a skinny side. This will be his most photogenic opportunity. And you're going to take your knife and you're going to go from about right there. And you're going to try to slice down. I didn't hit the C, but if I did, I would just lean out and go on down. Okay, like that. You're going to do the other side. This is just how I do it. There's many ways, but I like my way. Okay, oh good. This is good for camera because I didn't even mess up. See that? Okay, so you have two halves. Slice them down the middle. Since it's nice and right, you're going to take your knife and you're just going to shimmy in the middle. Open in your blender. Shimmy down. Don't worry, I'll suck that little bit of internal skin meat off in a minute. I, I just don't even leave a piece. Because that's ridiculous to waste mango. See, like you could watch this. This one's nice. and This is how they should be right here in nature, you know. Just peel it back. But a lot of times you just can't find them like this. And I mean, these things, if you buy them hard, they take a long time to ripen up, see? Plus, now that I have, actually, one side is riper than the other. It got more sun, isn't that sweet? Okay, so then you're going to just go around the edge of this. You know, everything I do, I try to take a little workout while I'm doing it. Like, um, let's just say you're slicing this, okay? You could be working on whatever muscles. Like, if I'm going to work on, like, my arm muscles, I'm going to tighten up, like, like so every little muscle is, is cringing a little bit. Okay, here we go. See what I'm saying? I'm not concentrating it. You could be squeezing in your, your um, hiney cheek muscles, too. Let's try that. And while I'm doing this, girls, I could do some Celtic exercises at the same time. You know what I'm talking about? Because you really want to tighten up all your muscles. This is an important factor, which we don't have to talk about right now. Christopher's laughing. I hope he's not listening to me. Okay, because I know we don't know what I'm talking about. God, let's hope not. Okay, so let's look. So we've got one mango. I already used this blender once because I made this for y'all while ago. We have one mango in there. Then we're going to have... Three little peppers. I'll cut off the top since y'all are watching. So might be weird if I don't. Are you wasting? Don't waste food. One red. Another red. Okay. I'm gonna have to fish some of these out of the salad because I use them a lot. These are some chopped up red onions. Was a really large red onion, so I'm gonna say about a fourth of a red onion. Just leave it right here, baby. Please move on. Okay, so here we have it. That's all you need. One fourth red onion. I think that was two red, three red peppers, and three orange, I think, and see. Like look at that. You don't want to waste that. I mean that's wasted food right there. You could just let me show you something. People waste more stuff. I, it's just unimaginable to me. Now this is just a few little niblets off that smaller right, right there. That's a whole bite full. 
Okay, so then you're gonna blend that up. That's all you need. That is it right there. Perfect every time. That is a French dressing. Chemical free, salt free, you're going to be full and satiated and you're going to wake up in the morning, look good, feel good and be ready for the day. You're not going to have to think, well this is good for this second and then I'm going to feel like garbage later. You know, I'm not going to feel like a good night kiss or anything else, you know. Okay, so here's what I have. This is what I'm having for dinner. You all have got to get your vegetables. This is a head size bowl, okay? I had it on my head upside down a while ago and I look like men at work. Y'all missed it, but this is how big it is, okay? This is a large. This is one whole head of romaine. It is two big tomatoes, some radishes, some red onion, some more peppers, and that's all. And then I've got a whole thing that I just made. That's just, I'll use that tomorrow because I want to show it to you. This, um, I'll eat this whole thing, okay? Now let's just say this. Let's say you are not over your cooked food. Call it what you will. Addiction, pleasure, pleasure trap. I don't know. Means of comfort. And it may not be hurting you, but let's just say you aren't over that. What if you had this as your main course? The greens as the main thing. You've got your fruit. Got your calories in there. And on the side, personally, I would prefer like some flax crackers with it, but I don't have any made. I'm out of flax, and I couldn't find any on a good deal, so I didn't get them. But um, let's just say you wanted a baked potato, and you steamed it so it still got its moisture and all. And you had a small one, cut it up into little cubes like it was croutons. Instead of eating nine potatoes, and I don't know... A shoot of sprouts at like greens or condiments and I'm fixing to tell you why let's sit down because this is worth talking about okay all right so there is such a thing in this world called the and a n d i and you can look that up and what it is is the aggregate nutritional density index and what it this is how it calculates food it takes the nutrients, the phytochemicals, the minerals, all those things, and it divides them by the calories. And then you get high score to low score. Your higher score is where you want to be. Now let me just point out something. Kale is a 1,000. The top score you can get is 1,000. Kale's there. Mr. Kale is winning the race. Potatoes are 31. Okay, I'm not hating on the potato. I'm just saying, on, and potatoes, this is a food that you can look at and say potatoes are fairly low calorie. They're also low on the nutritional density index. Therefore, we can know by that that we need to eat more. What you want to do, this is a formula used by Dr. Um, Joel Furman, and it's stuck in my brain. I can like, it's like imprinted in my brain. Health equals nutrition over calories. What that means to you to remember is in the amount of calories I'm getting in the day, what is the most powerful nutrient pack I can get? This is how you're going to lose weight. Because when you get the nutrients you need, then your body does not crave more things, more and more and more and more, because it's meeting its nutritional needs. Your body is going to seek out until it gets, and if you keep feeding it Twinkies, it's going to keep taking Twinkies, and the gas tank is never going to get full. You may feel full for a minute, but you're not going to feel good, and you're growing crap for sales. So anyway... Your leafy greens are at the top, like your mustard greens, all those things. Um, coming on down, you've got your vegetables. Then you've got your, um, your fruits. Then you've got your starchy carbs, 
got a bunch of garbage at the very low bottom. But what I'm saying is, kale, 1,000. Potatoes, 31, okay? Um, bok choy, 824. Bam, I like some bok choy. It's great for scooping stuff, and those little baby bok choys are like little spoons. Um, spinach, 739. So if you're not aware of this, let's be aware. Let's understand what our body needs, and let's give it that. And let's quit just, just blindly saying, okay, I'll eat that too. Let's do, let's do a little research. You know what I'm saying? Um, Louise England One, I believe is her name, hey, said, I truly believe we all have a destiny, and the harder it is to get there, the more important your role's going to be. I thought to myself, oh my gosh, something is in store for me. <laughs> Thanks for that, girl. I, that stopped me in my tracks. It really did. I thought, wow, it was an aha moment. Okay, and then, um, Grace ends design video. Hey, um, was asking me what I do for fitness. They saw a picture I put on Instagram today where I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm holding this. And you can see that, like, my arms are skinny, but they, they have a lot of tone to them. I mean, they're toned, you see. I could, like, I could take somebody down if I needed to. Not that I need to, but if I did. Here's what I do. I'm constantly mindful of what I'm doing, just like if I'm cutting the mango. If I'm, but here's what I mainly do. I also do like, I'm, I'm very multi-talented. I can do masonry work. I can install a ceiling fan. I can change out the whole fuse box and breaker system. That's right, guys. I said all that with my bare hands. Go to Lowe's and tell dudes there how to do it. Um, I can lay ceramic tile. I can lay wood floor, pergo floor. I can do it all and smile at the same time. I can lay carpet. I can pull out carpet, almost break my fingers in the same time and smile while I'm doing it and say, oh, it'll be fine. So I do all those things. I move my body every chance I get, you know? Um, I also rebound. So when I'm rebounding and I'm on the rebounder, and every jump I take flexes every cell in my body. So say I'm jumping, and let's just say I'm doing this right here, okay? So every time I jump, I'm, see that? Okay, or maybe I'm gonna um, go back. I'm gonna be mindful of working that muscle back there, okay? And at the same time, I'm holding in the middle, you know? If I'm twisting, I'm also doing the arms at the same time. The point is, that's my main form of exercise, and it tones up every cube of your body. I also do squats, and sometimes I use a weight. I dance every day, and I grind it down as low as I can, you know, and I hold it there. Um, I also do crunches and sit-ups. I don't do them like a mad person, but I do them till they hurt. And then, like, I'll do to the side. I do it until it burns, until I just can't do it anymore. That's what I do. But I wanted to tell y'all that, and um, I think that's the only people I was going to shout out to right now. But y'all were having some interesting and very sweet comments earlier. I appreciate your support on this day of a video thon.